I'm going to destroy you with a fireball. I'll give you three seconds to give me a dope. All right, three, two, one, no! Hello and welcome to Dope or Nope, the show in which we rate products dope or nope, or we use a spell to make everyone fall in love with us. Today is 10 magic tricks magicians don't want you to see. So we're gonna be looking at 10 different magic trick products that mu musicians? That magicians. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why mu musicians You're would want you to see. You're all kinds of messed up It's how to play living on a prayer, dude. <laughs> so each of these products we are gonna rate dope or nope, but we're doing something special because today we're gonna play dope or die. Each one of us has two lives. Whoever gets eliminated first has to tweet what the other two say. First magic trick. <laughs> Puts it on my head, my head disappears. <laughs> the secret box, amazing magic trick. This trick is so deceptive, it will fool magicians. Well, that's pretty useless. So magicians don't even... <laughs> no one can get into it. The like magician that. buys it, he's like, I can do this. No, it got me, I don't know how to do this. <laughs> okay, so the idea is that you can shake this. It sounds like there's something in it, but there's not when you open it. Before I even touch this thing, let me just see if I can figure out the mechanics of it. There's a false bottom that moves up and down. Yes, I thought the exact same thing. <laughs> false bottom that smacks the top and the bottom and it sounds like a shaker. Yeah, I'd imagine. I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? You said you looked at all these products. Maybe I did, <laughs> maybe I didn't. <laughs> Add a cart! Hold on, read the instructions first. No. Can you keep a secret? <laughs> oh, it, <laughs> it, it, just, out. It, yeah. it was the easiest thing. I, like, I it's so simple. It was exactly what I thought it was. <gasps> no! There's a false bottom. But the issue was when I opened it up and I went like that. Oh, you saw it flip. <laughs> it was flipped in. And I was like, well, this is a trick that even magicians will be fooled. <laughs> <laughs> it's a magic trick, you see? The trick is to shake it so that the false bottom thing goes into the lid. Oh. And then you hand them the bottom of it, flip it out gotcha. into your hand, then you hand them a lid. Okay, that's better. Oh! This is right. Can we fool anyone with it? I think this is pretty good. Yeah, I think we could fool somebody All with right, it. All right, let's try. Let's see who our first willing audience member. Willing audience member. Consensual audience member. <laughs> I want to see something wild and crazy. Can you keep your pants on, please? Yes, I will. For the first trick. <laughs> yes, okay. It's a magnet. Oh, what a magnet. What magnet? Oh, no, or it's a false floor. Prove it. Oh no, there's an extra ring in there that's the exact Prove same it. size. You just know he took it out. It's right there. <laughs> <laughs> ah, he got it. Dude, he got you. And that's right off the bat. And that's Connor too. You can't go lower from here. Like, why do we start at the bottom? <laughs> <laughs> Get out of my office. <laughs> what do you guys say, dope or no? I think it's dope. I'm gonna say... I say dope. No. I almost no. said no. <laughs> yeah, see, it's a no. So I pass through. What do you pass? To the next round, a kidney stone. Nice. Doo-wops, ESP, matchboard, ESP, prediction, mental, ESP, magic tricks, magician, ESP, date illusion props, ESP, ESP. <laughs> Mental magic, I just did it with the ESP. Thank you. This hand makes my head itch. Yeah, mine too. Fabulous mental effect for all audiences. Very well made. Well, I'll be the decider <laughs> of that. When you have to say it's very well made, it's not. I think like me going up to a girl, I'm very handsome. <laughs> <laughs> very well made, we checked it. <laughs> but here we go. So the audience member has the green cards and then they're gonna tell them where they want him to put the cards, like in what number slot they want them to put the cards in. This guy loves Jeeps. This guy loves Jeeps. <laughs> <laughs> Here are five numbers. Please choose one. I choose three. Now he's gonna pick two next. Watch, I'm magic. Dang it. <laughs> <laughs> now he's gonna turn it around and reveal it. How? Bye now. All right, guys. So we finally got it here. You got to keep this side forward to the viewer. So okay. they're only going to see this. So now with your deck, you're not going to place your order. What you're going to predict their card will be in this yeah. last column. All right. Now, so then I predict. Yep. Yeah, boom. Come I think you might put your cards in this order. Don't you insert. All but they're all the exact order of what's already on the back. <laughs> exactly. What do you mean? All right. So bada bing, bada boom. Okay. Right. He's placed his prediction. Shuffle these cards for me. Shuffled. What number do you want me to put this card at? In order. One, two, three, four, five. Wait, I'm seeing that you're putting it in between something. Mm -hmm. I can see that from this angle. No, I don't know what you're of... talking about. There's no angles here. You just it's have bad on. sight. <laughs> Is it possible I predicted exactly what you would do? It's almost like it's 100% possible. <laughs> you're right! I knew! Because I'm a genius. One second. Hold up. Why is that card smaller than the rest? What card? There. Yeah, there you fixed it and it didn't move. <laughs> <laughs> now it did move. This is what he did. It, it looked like this. <laughs> and I was like, um, what? 
Okay, you just gave away your magic trick. So I will say this. It is very obvious once you see it, but this would have fooled me from anybody. I'd have been like, how in the heck did you do this? And it fooled me on TV as well. For me, it takes way too long to get to such like a mediocre trick. It's not that mediocre. Yeah, I mean like all the setup and like it's all- just like any other card trick. Hey, pick a card, threw it in the air and I <laughs> ate one and now I just pooped the other one out. Is this your card? It's like, nah. <laughs> Yeah, that was three seconds. Yeah, but I didn't do it. It's just if I had to actually do it, you have But to I want to see that one. <laughs> <laughs> just want to see a magic trick? I will make a child up here. Break out my new magic trick on somebody. Whoa! Get on out of here, bud. I'm going to predict the order <laughs> okay. in which you place your cards in this, okay? I have made my selection. Now, have you shuffled your deck? Yes. Now, first card, where do you want it to go on this? Four. Yeah. Okay, give me your card. Okay, give me your next one. Two. You're really falling into my trap right now, aren't you, Wiz? What if I told you I knew exactly where you're gonna put each one of those? Does this determine whether this product is dope or not? Oh wow, that's dope, dude. Got you, huh? Let me see. Go for it. No, why would whoa, you give it? No, you, you can't. You can't see. <laughs> think what? What do you think it is that the I mean, worldwide wizard here has done? <laughs> it just gives away secrets. <laughs> I didn't give away a secret. I gave what kind a of magician are you? Did it get you? Yeah, dope. Hey now, you're an I'll, I'll say it's a dope. I think it's a dope. It's easy to do. It's a very easy mind trick because it's just, you don't know. The only issue is that you better not see even the slightest angle because I, from even this angle mm -hmm. when it's down, I can see that there's two sides to those numbers. You want to buy it? Too bad. Because it's a dope. Dope. Guys! Yeah? Today we're not doing a like to buy. Oh, oh sad. But we are doing a like to live. Like to live? Like to live is where you guys click like on this video to let us know if you want us to go live maybe 15 minutes before a video. The next yeah. video that we upload, uh, we may go live on if you guys hit the like goal of like, what, 75K? Make it 100. Okay, 100K. If you want us to go live, maybe we'll play a game, maybe we'll test a product or two. Let us know by giving 100,000 likes and that will let us know that you actually want to do that because we have to reconfigure our entire setup, find some new products for you guys to share in the live stream. It's gonna take some time, so we wanna make sure you guys actually wanna see that. Oh, you're up! <laughs> oh, your mama! mama. My your mama. mama? Your mama. Mama said, my mama said, mama said that. All right, we got prank <laughs> flames, at fingertips, stage magic tricks, fire hands, magic props, magician, gimmick, accessories, fire finger kit. Look, that's Photoshop. <laughs> They're all the same flames. What happened to his thumb? Why isn't that shooting flames? <laughs> Is that where he stores all the gas? <laughs> it sounds dangerous. I mean, you're playing with real fire. Kids only do this with with parental supervision. Only do it with real parents. I have a card! Aren't you kind of curious if it's gonna burn your finger? Uh, not really. Are these are flat? Oh, that would that would burn your fingers. That is a lot. Sure. Are you kidding me? My favorite. Why? Are you, my, do you feel your finger getting warm already? No. But I think these are also like heat, like fire slash resistant. Oh wow, that burned out quick. Only got five seconds. You know what I mean? Like, in what world is this going to be a trick where it, like, ice world? Like you can see things on your finger. This thing is so big and thick. I'm sorry, brother. This is a no. No. I can see something on your finger. I'm just gonna say, Michael. I'm gonna say it's a dope, right? <laughs> Don't hit me with the, quick... right? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Michael, your first life is gone. <laughs> smoke from nowhere. Stage magic tricks. Is this really smoke from nowhere or is it just someone with a something up their sleeve? Wow, that looks like someone's just vaping. Yeah. It's just a jewel. Yeah. <laughs> so I think the idea is you'll be able to just trigger smoke and then make whatever's in your hand disappear. Cause it's also saying, use it for comedies. What would be funny if you just like, oh, my rub's on fire. Ah, bye now. Still what throw. is this? Smoke from nowhere. How does that happen? Smoke from nowhere? Yeah, it's gotta come from somewhere. I have a feeling it's not gonna work. I'm gonna save some time. Yeah, it doesn't work. What? Wait, it doesn't even work at all? But we found another magic store out in the valley. So we got another smoke machine. Cost a pretty penny. 200 smackaroos. <gasps> I walk into the store, right? And I was like, oh, I'm just gonna pick up a magic product. There's legit full-blown dress magicians. And they're like, hey. Wanna see magic trick? <laughs> yeah, I've really, like, never felt so out of place. You're a respected magician, good sir. I appreciate that. Oh, look, it's a little vape. <laughs> <laughs> so how do I use it? You can put it on your wrist. Oh, I strap this onto my wrist. You gotta make something disappear from us. I have a donut. So do I. I don't. I'm just gonna get rid of this donut because I have a stomach ache. And I'm gonna make it never appear again so I'm never tempted. <laughs> Dude, those are some thick sleeves. Dude. With smoke, I made it disappear. I just saw it fall on your sleeve. I'm going to destroy you with a fireball. I'll give you three seconds to give me a dope. All right, three, two, one. No! And my donut fell. <laughs> so we rated a dope. I'm gonna say it's a nope. That's a nope and that's all I gotta say about it.
I still have a life left, and my life is worth living. Multiplying bottles, black eight bottles, stage magic tricks. It looks like they're like Russian dolls, and this cylindrical object is supposed to mask them. Tanner, what's a Russian doll? A Russian doll is a doll made in Russia. No, <laughs> I'm kidding. The Russian doll trick is it's a very small doll inside a little bit of a bigger doll, inside of a little bit bigger, inside of a little bit bigger, and so the whole trick is that you just keep undoing them, and there's more inside, and it keeps blowing your mind. I can't wait till my mind is blown. Um, Add to cart. We got two no, fine bottles here. You already failed. No, no man, let him, let him, let him. <laughs> no, let I'm him fail. On I'm this showing dope. you guys. Okay. I have two bottles underneath here. You ruined the bit. No, I did not. <laughs> you guess know what? you ruined the bit. <laughs> because guess what? Guess what's underneath one now? Pudding. Pudding. And now I know what you're thinking. Tanner, can you move that pudding to the other one? I'm gonna tell you what. Yes, I can. <laughs> and then here's how. Boom! That's actually good! Back to two smaller bottles. Did I just blow your mind even more? No, see- You want me to go a little lower? I can't, so I'm gonna go with pudding again. <laughs> <laughs> There's only two bottles in there. Tanner, when you show both bottles, that ruins the- I now know what's happening in- No, the cancers. whole point for me was to show you why the pudding went from one side to the other. Yeah, exactly. So you show pudding on one, and then the bottle on the other. You never show both puddings yes. or both bottles. Yes. Boom, I did it! First try. Now I want to show you both little bottles. No. Boom. You don't show both <laughs> bottles. There wasn't a point of the different size bottles being inside of each other. Cause that's a different trick. That's a different trick. I just did both in one. I just blew no, both no, in one. I didn't even see that there are different different sizes. Exactly, that's why I showed them at first. Boom, big boys, little boys. They look like no, the same. They look like the same <laughs> well, not, no, well, not, well, not. I say we take this around the office and we have them perform this on someone else to see if they can catch okay. what, what you and I caught of why we think oh. this trick was wrong. I have to snap my fingers. I'm gonna make the pudding go from here to here. Okay. You think it's possible? No. Stop. Do you want to see it go back? Yeah. Check it out. Yeah, look under the table. <laughs> it's good, right? Why don't I do it, Kev? Matt's doing something. How can you man? put the bottle and the pudding in the same one? Do you want me to do that? Yes. Yeah, I can do that, I guess. You can. Why not? You can? Yeah. Do do the I will I will leave this room right now if you make it, make that happen. Make it really? Okay, I'll do it. <laughs> You can't do what, what if I told you I could spawn another bottle and spawn another pudding and put them both in the same one? I will lose it. If you if you bring two bottles out right now, you're gonna lose it. I'll lose it. Okay, here we go. There's no way he fell for that. Give us an honest review, Kevin. What? <laughs> <laughs> what? You really? Oh, no, you really no, no. Wait. What? <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were messing no, with me. No, bro. There's no. Okay, I can't. <laughs> I had an idea, but not that there was like 50 <laughs> bottles in there, bro. <laughs> that one was good. That one slapped. That was good. Execution, zero. Mm -hmm. Argumentativeness, 10. Attractiveness, seven. Dude, that's the nicest thing you've ever said to me. <laughs> Product, 10. So overall, that totals to a dope, <laughs> right? Yeah, it's a dope. Do ops light and heavy chess, MC magic tricks, wooden box, magic professional magician. We got this box here. So it's supposed to be an unliftable box? Trick, no one can lift the box except you. So me, I'm the magician. For me, it's light and I can lift it. But to others, it might be so heavy that they can't lift it. It's kind of like that sword. What's the sword? Sword in the stone. It's kind of like that sword in the stone. What's yeah. that called? <laughs> I thought there was like a name for it. Excalibur. Like Add a cart. So here, you see my light box, all right? Oh, I get how it works already. All right, we're just gonna throw these little guys in there just for some fun. What's underneath them all? Just the box. I don't understand. Pudding makes it heavy. Just a rabbit dabble it in there, boom. Oh, I see. Okay. He made the pudding solid concrete. Mm. Look, he can't lift it now. Actually, it looks like it's stuck. That's not really what a heavy thing would do. Yeah, you can't lift. No, if you were to lift a heavy thing, it wouldn't raise wouldn't the table with it. <laughs> it's so heavy, it reverses gravity. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the table lifts with it. I don't know what you're talking about. See, the box doesn't feel that heavy because I can pull the box up. It's yeah. just the table underneath <laughs> it's stuck to the box <laughs> is what seems to be the issue here. So it's the wrong table. All right, but just so you guys know how this works, underneath the handkerchiefs, right? Right here, there is a clamp. And if you undo the clamp, then it releases the suction cup. Wait, so it wasn't the pudding? I'm a magician, so I can do anything with this box. The trick with this is, okay. once I set it down on the ground, you will not be able to lift it, because it'll be so heavy, you can't lift it up. Really? So as you see here, right, just two handkerchiefs, something so light is gonna make it so heavy, you can't lift it. So okay. let's set it down. All right, ready? So just these, right? Dropping it. I'm on the edge of my okay. seat. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we need more, we need more. It's uh, chocolate. Chocolate only weighs you down. Closing it back up for one more time for good. Yeah, this time it's bright. We need one more chocolate. <laughs> Here's another piece of chocolate to make sure. Yeah, yeah, make sure the okay. chocolate's in there. What are you doing? It's, you it's... <laughs> I'm running the table. Whoa! <laughs> are you kidding me right now? Who thinks I'm twisting a box? 
I was ready. twisting it off of the heavy surface. You know what's heavy? The cost of ruining the table, Sam. Oh, <laughs> totally did. wait, it really did. How did it scratch it? Because it was so heavy. It was, it was so, so heavy. heavy. Oh, whoa, I can't hold it. Wow. No, I like put together what the problem was down there because you were really fidgeting with the handkerchief. You're so what you're saying is it's a nope. I don't know. I feel like if it would have been presented dope. differently, it would be a dope. So you're a no. I'm what sorry. She's saying. Oh. <laughs> no, I, I think it's dope. I think no. it's a good trick. I'm gonna have to say no. I'll give you your dope. All right, next prize. I got a dope. Do up, do up, cubey two candy. Candy not included. Wow. Magic tricks, big cube. Dice too small. Stage gimmick. Pro I don't even know why I'm trying to read that title. It's not telling me anything. I know. So many words and it doesn't tell me anything. All these do up ads just are the same exact thing. <laughs> right though? Like cube to candy. What does that mean? Big cube dice to small stage gimmick prop illusion. Like what are you trying to tell me? How to do 10 magic sleight of hand tricks. Okay, watch the Rubik's Cube. <laughs> Oh, I get it. You're supposed to make it so all the colors of the Rubik's Cube turn into sour candy. There was some kind of jump cut though, because look at that cube. And then now look at the difference between that one. She's twisting it to the one he's gonna put down. It's like solid. Yeah, it's like not even a Rubik's Cube. So you have to do a sleight of hand to change the Rubik's Cube to be able to do this. Tricky magicians, eh? Add to the list, look at this thing. Cube to candy. Oh look, there's a free Rubik's okay, Cube. there's a Rubik's Cube. Oh, okay, so I see what's happening. That's what he's doing. There is a real Rubik's Cube, and then basically what you do, wait, what do you do? Oh, you throw this on this. Oh. Yeah, you wanna see me solve this Rubik's Cube really quick? Ah! On camera, it looked really good. Okay. Okay, so in real life, you can see where it folds out. This would not fool anyone. Okay, Watch, this is a magic know? palette. Oh, wait, you can dude, see it. It just folds just, up. You can just see it in this <laughs> other camera just so well. Yeah, I can't do this. This is too impossible. The issue is you have to carry around this thing. This is a hard <laughs> nope, dude. This is so bad. The hardest nope I've had so far. And that means, Matthias, you are the loser. Sword swallowing by premium magic. Dude, last time we tried sword swallowing, but we just got a sword. We're doing sword swallowing? What episode is this, Magic 2? <laughs> I don't trust anybody who names themselves Premium Magic, for starters. No, the Essel Magic. No, it says by Premium Magic. But it's by Essel. They don't know who they are, and that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Recommended for ages 12 and above. Really, sword swallowing for ages 12 and above. Great gift. Add the cards. Go ahead and pass it to me, Casper. Yeah, Tanner. Wow. Oh. What is this? Wait, didn't this didn't this kind of throw you off when you were unboxing a giant sword in a tiny box? No, it you did. You didn't even think about I it. I thought it was gonna be folded into like quarters or something. Not rolled up like a fruit roll up. Check out my fruit by the foot. Oh no, don't break it. Wow, that is kind of a sword. No, no, other way. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, bro. You ain't fooling nobody with this. <gasps> oh, that's what you're supposed to do. Oh, I hate it. <laughs> Ew. I, I want to try. <laughs> <laughs> there should be though some, some kind of like disengagement right here. Ow. Oh, did that cut your tongue? No, stabbed my gums. <laughs> Are you okay? No. <laughs> I think you'd be able to fool someone with this if you mastered it. Should I go try this out on somebody? I think so. Sorry. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna swallow this whole sword, okay? Here we go. Yeah. I'm gonna guide it in. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's what happens when you try to be such a show off, Tanner. Yeah. Wait, wait, quiet, quiet. Show we will try it on Connor. I'm gonna swallow this sword, okay? It's a retractable blade. Retractable? How can it retract? Stop the wall. <laughs> yeah, see? <laughs> see? It's Here we go. Like Here we go. <laughs> Come on, do it, Tanner. You can do it. <laughs> <laughs> Tanner, you're failing no hard way. right now. <laughs> wow, look, look at him go. Wow. Oh. 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 <laughs> <laughs> I need one more try. Give me one that more man. try. Hey, you want to see a magic trick? I'm going to swallow this whole sword. I'm going to guide it in. <laughs> you can do it. Wow. I wish I could speak whale. <laughs> what do you think, Mike? It's clever. Uh, oh, oh, see? It hurt. I, I don't know how you're doing this. I told you. Pretty gross if you're actually shoving it down your throat. I am. So yeah. you checked it out, right? YouTube no. teaches us no, crazy don't, things. Don't, don't. He put that in his mouth, too. 
<laughs> it worked on Mike. <laughs> so what do you guys think? I would say it's a dope. I'm gonna say it's a dope. I, I, thought, a... I thought it was gonna be a nope, but yeah. it's a dope. Yeah, it's clearly not a real sword, but... <laughs> <laughs> the fact that he didn't even wash it before he put the whole thing in his mouth, like, respect. Yeah, it's a dope! Ultimate victory. Silver steel appearing bird cage. A small size dove appearing cage. Magic tricks, magician stage illusions, gimmick props. So I'm assuming you can like hide this like in your sleeve and then you can pull it out. And then when you pull it out, it'll turn into that guy. And then there'll be a little birdie inside of it. Wait, there's a bird inside of it trapped? Magic, dude. So this spawns birds? I thought there was a bird in there and then the cage goes like this and closes in on itself. And then the bird goes. And it flies around. <laughs> Who is that? It's a bird. That's a bird. Did you know you knew how to do Wait, that? You just smacked your hands. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Let's add it to a list. What you doing over there? I am preparing my magic. Oh, that <laughs> you know that bird looks like it hasn't moved in 30 years. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> the rubber band looks more alive than the bird, I'll be honest. All right, so, yeah, so essentially this just collapses down, hides a little birdie in it, and then you're oh putting- Oh my god, are you hurting That's it? inhumane for birds. Yeah. It's, okay. it's not a real bird. But it no, feels but like it's it. it's supposed to be. You know magicians are doing that, putting real birds in there. I don't stand that, so magicians. You hide it inside your sleeve like this, nothing's happening, and then you pull by here. And you have a little birdie. Add in a little like tweet tweet sound effect. Don't do it. To me, it's just like a Mary Poppins gag. I rated a nope. Yeah, there's nothing cool about this so far, Mike. I gotta be honest with myself. I just think like the mechanics have to be better of how it also stays closed. I'm gonna say it's a nope. Sorry, dude. Oh, <laughs> I still have one life, so it's cool. What? No. No, yeah. you don't. <laughs> You're dead. Doo-wops, if we say that one more time, I'm gonna get a headache. Professional coin bucket, coin pale magic, tricks, magician stage gimmick, appearing illusion, prop classic toys, accessories, mentalism. I didn't even know that was a word. Mentalism? <laughs> <laughs> that is what I want the picture definition of mentalism to be. <laughs> Add the list. So I've been given a box. <laughs> looks like this, can wear it on your head. Now I'm a real magician, brother. No, you're a mentalist. <laughs> <laughs> and then I was given this half dollar coin. Now the way this whole thing is supposed to work is I'm supposed to have a good grip of this half dollar. Okay, wait, 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 before you do that. And then. then... You just straight up toss it in there. <laughs> so originally the way, is the way. Initially the way it's supposed to work are these little side pieces right here, right? They press in and out, you're supposed to hide the half dollar coins inside here. So that way they release into the bucket without you even having to have them in your hand. But it's on both sides? So you can essentially, yeah, store them on both sides. So you have then... to hold it like this. Otherwise people are gonna look at it. So then you just go. I mean, it is just a bucket. See that empty bucket? Let me see if it's empty. Yeah. Do you see it's empty now? And then. How'd that make you feel? <laughs> I just put the coin in, I, oh, I was like, what? I just, you put the coin in there? No, the coin put itself <laughs> in there. Magic! <laughs> this is magic! <laughs> I rated a nope, sorry! I'm rating this a nope for myself. Straight up though, I actually deleted Twitter from my phone so I don't go on Twitter and Instagram anymore. But, so I can't. Okay. But when we did thumbnails on Monday, you used your laptop, which has it on there. Yeah, that's true. And your laptop is by the crafty. Okay, fine. Let's go. All right, Matt. Wait, I'm the one saying all right, Matt. And Michael. Yeah. <laughs> you guys take a seat right there. I want you both squatted up. I'm not tweeting until he tweets first, though. All right. Go ahead and open your laptop, buddy. Right. All right, here's what I want you guys to tweet. I am so thankful for at Tanner Mamadol. Make sure you don't spell, misspell that. I love him so much. Emphasize that how you please. Go follow him to find out why. Gotta have a plug. If I'm not plugging myself, then why did I win? You're already plugging yourself by making his at you, dude. At Tanner Mamadol. <laughs> at Tanner. <laughs> That'll do just, just do service. It'll be fine. Ah. Oh. There I feel so appreciated. Thank you guys. Guys, make sure you check out this video. It is 10 products that magicians don't want you to see. It was the first time we did a magic video. Also, check out this video. It's one that YouTube recommends specifically for you. Let us know if they are right and make sure you guys subscribe and hit that bell icon because we have crazy videos coming up and you aren't gonna wanna miss them. Excuse me. See you later. Wow.